Right, going to sat now, Banbury to the yard, two hours 24, let's see. I think that's an owl muck as well on the car, nice. Back at the yard now, got some, uh, I forgot what they're called, oven trays to take to Brook House. And someone's dropped me a nice bottle of sparkling stuff on, celebrate 40,000 that was passing, I think they were from Kent, miles away. Anyway, sadly I just missed them to say hello, but they saw Robin, anyway, yeah. Looks cool, doesn't it? The high vis tractor on the hedge cutter makes sense, doesn't it? We're doing all the work. I can't even speak. We're doing all the roadside hedges at the moment that are a hazard for harvesting. So when we're combining, we want to be able to see to get in and out of the fields. So Andrew's just nipping around, doing what he can while we wait for the weather to get better because it was raining this morning, but now it is blue skies. I'm going to go and just check some barley, see whether it needs spraying off or whether it actually needs combining. It's a good day for gifts what someone sent me so i got andrew one and someone sent me can you see it i'll flip the camera so leo has sent me this in the post it's a replica of an orange valtra so thank you very much leo and look what i've got some orange tape for andrew's wheels so let's go and see what it looks like see if it matches what do we think it's pretty close that isn't it and it's obviously reflective so i think you should put it put it round that rim there you'll never get it to go round the bend though would you no. so it's gonna have to go on the flat but i think it'll look good you might be better driving before so you don't have to do it upside down <laughs> To me, to you, to me, to you. Lads are starting to get this shed ready now so that we can get some some barley tipped in the back of it. This is what we normally park the tractors in, but we've got them to evict them outside now. Obviously this one's always been here and the MB track is round the back. Now I don't know if I can get you know, the fabric that you make marquees out of or seed socks or bouncy castles whether we can stretch something across to the girders of these shed, this, this shed and that shed with ratchet straps and make like a temporary roof there and then we can stuff all the tractors in there maybe. Because it seems a shame, a shame to leave this one outside when it's never really been outside and then also get these other ones wet and dusty. Just not got enough shed space at all, especially with that fertiliser arriving. I'm still looking for someone to try and juggle that to. We're going to get rid of some more straw, get some more hay caps, we can get some more straw outside and stick that in the bay that's got straw in at the moment. Right, in the field of barley now. It's pretty ripe. Problem is, volunteer wheat, this, like cheese, really soft inside. So I've got two options. I spray it, kill that, wait two weeks, or I get the combine and cut it and put it on the drying floor and dry it. The advantage of doing it that way around is one, I've got some sunlight to just power the dryer. Got plenty of wood chip in the yard. And also the pigeons won't eat it in the next two weeks. It's one less field to worry about. We can get the ground ready as well then for putting um, oilseed rape in. So I think, I think we'll go back and get the combine and harvest 22 will start again. It does look pretty dry, but yeah, volunteer wheat, quite a bit of it, especially around the gate. Right, half a million quid for a combine, and I could not find a USB. I'm sure there was a USB plug somewhere. An ashtray, didn't know that. That's handy for people to smoke. But yeah, there's no ashtray. Not ashtray, no, no USB. Well, there's one there, I don't know that'll charge your phone then. I found this. It's got two there and three there. So just like buses have gone from none to five, all in one go. Actually, it gets better. I've just found the charge I was using last year as well down the back of the seat. There we go, what do we think? I think it looks cool. Maybe it needs a double stripe on the back though. Andrew's got the header on the Merlot. There's a fast track on a trailer. We'll get another track from another trailer in a minute. 
Tom might be back later with the other trailer and we are off on the combine. Robin's here now for trailer. Like I say, there's a bit of volunteer wheat in this field. You can see it a bit green over there. This isn't too bad here. This field was going to be wheat and it was because we had some barley seed left. So last minute we changed it to barley. So that is why it's particularly bad. We wouldn't normally cut it this soon because we'd have just like let the wheat ripen in it because it's all feed, so it doesn't matter. But because we've had such a problem with the pigeons and because it's got some telegraph wires running through it, pigeons land on them and then eat it. Anyway, I just had a phone call off the environmental health officer from Nosley Council because we've got someone pigeon shooting the other side of the village because someone has rung up again, like they did last year, and complained about the noise of the shooters. If you don't like the noise of shooters, just move house. Go back into the city. You've got to eat every morning. And if you don't want to live by where your food's produced, do one. And just to cap it off now, the auger won't fold out because it's supposed to wobble as we're going down the road and it's not lining up on the pegs at the top. So we're going to have to climb up onto one of the trailers or shove it with that ladder maybe and uh, poke the auger around so it'll line up because when it folds around it's just jamming. Robin's just gone over there now and there's a load of pigeons in the field. See them all? Hundreds of them. The guy that lives there as well. Where are we? Some of the, one of the mouses there. He's moaning about shooting him the other day. How green it is here. Don't know what you can see, but that's a bit completely eaten. Completely, completely scoffed by pigeons. Andrew is here on Nemo. He's not done the stripes this side because we ended up going out in a hurry. And he's took the headquarter off, wanted to play on his orange ultra. It's, uh, it's not too bad here, but there's certain patches that are pretty bad for the volunteer wheat. Nice fodder straw though, because it'll probably have a little bit of the, the wheat stuck to the straw. Where the wheat, where, sorry, some of the wheat straw will have the, the grain still stuck to it a bit, so it'll be nice for feeding to cattle. The mid middle conveyor has stopped and normally you just reverse it with these menus but for some reason it's not in the menu I don't know if it's because of the software update it's gone to factory settings and I can't find where it is so I've just run class on the ring of it back because I run the wrong guy so another field ticked off the list just emptying out now drop the header off and we're going to cross the ditch and go into the field that's the one we're back into the ditch last uh, two, well two harvests to go now Rob's now here on the fast track getting the load. Anyway, I had to ring class up because it lost its settings out of this menu because they've done a software update. And then it's now got a different name. It's now called Convio, so it's got like a better icon. But I should have said reverse, I think. Anyway, I've sorted it now. There's Sam. He's going to move the header for us over the ditch. Well, over the bridge, hopefully. <laughs> Just been on the phone to Tom, Tom Pemberton. He has managed to bring the, the 936 back in one piece. So he's going to come up there and get a load of grain on it. And I think he might do a live video as well. Need to just mention as well, it's Jonathan's birthday today. So Jonathan is 50. So not seen much of him recently because he's obviously been getting treatment for his brain tumor, but he's looking a lot better at the moment and his hair's even grow back. And he deserves a special mention for his birthday because he's helped me so much over the years. Mainly we're doing things that I don't like doing, which is like cash flow forecasts for the bank when I'm buying stuff or getting grants for things or, or doing crazy things. So thank you, Jonathan, if you're watching. I hope you fully recover from the brain tumour because he did have a scan the other day as well. Anyway, we've got a little bit left in this field and then we think we're going to change to another one that hopefully will have a little bit less wheat in it as well. So we'll uh, get this finished and take the other off. Another field ticked off. There's Andrew now with the tractor to move the head trailer. He's, I think he likes his new tractor that much that he won't get off it. And it does look cool with the orange on the wheels. And Tom's grovelling to his viewers because <laughs> he's not got a video out. He only does two a week. Not the dedication I do. <laughs> so he's doing a live. Um, so Tom couldn't do a video tonight because he was busy salvaging last night. I've not done a video because we've just done an hour live. Well, more than an hour because we did it on two channels and we're still combining. So it doesn't want to focus.
just filling Andrew up now. Then we might get the last little bit of the field. It looks big from over here, but we might get the last little bit on the fence, which is up there. And then that is just short of 70 acres cut before it's gone dark, which isn't bad because I think we only got out cutting at four o'clock. So fantastic. Good result. Never get anything done today, especially when it's raining this morning. So we've got the lights on now. Rob has just jumped on to cut a little bit while I edit what you have just watched. So we've only got this small bit here. Looks better when you get off the combine than it does from on top of the combine. But yeah, 70 odd acres cut pretty much today, which isn't bad. Like I say, we came out really late. The birthday bumper will be the outro. So thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Just before we go, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of it cutting in the dark and how fantastic all the lights are on it. Looks amazing in the dark. Just cruising nicely up the field.